22-year-old Shamal Nakabi is a resident of Tula in Kawempe Division, one of Kampala's many suburbs. For Nakabi, the day starts at 6.30 a.m. in the morning as she cycles her way to work in Machindi Division. Her journey starts in Kawempe as she heads to Wandegia. She crosses to Queensway in the central business district and then on towards Machindi Division. Nakabi works as a waitress at Coffee at last, and on arrival, she changes from her riding gear and into her waitress uniform. In our interview with her, Nakabi reveals that she started riding as a hobby when she was much younger. However, as she grew older, this hobby turned into a necessity, especially as her family could not afford to foot transport bills for her to go to school. Because every day if I was to use transport, it would be 10,000. And using 10,000 every day, that would be 70. Although she is now done with school, Nakabi has resolved to continue cycling to work as it is much easier and affordable. It's really cheap. You use your own pace and it's fun. However, it has not been all smooth sailing for this young lady. She has faced criticism from her family and friends and also from some members of the public who think that it is unseemly for a girl to ride a bicycle. Most people think that me to ride, it's more just to show off. They be like, how can a girl ride? you demeaning your womanship. So there are those people that can extend you to, let's, let's assume like a stream along the road. They push you. So when you stay in your lane, they still look for you from where you are, so it's a bit tricky. Recently, government unveiled a 3 billion shilling plan to construct non-motorized roads for pedestrians and cyclists through KCCA. For Nakabie, this is indeed a welcome initiative. At least we shall know that this is our route, this is our lane, so that cars won't, like, there would be a lessening of accidents for motorbikes and for us as well and the passengers as well. Traffic jams and congestion remain a big challenge to the country's transport sector. A 2008 study by Travel Habit Survey indicated that pedestrians account for 46% of the country's transport sector, but the borders account for 17%, taxis account for 22%, while cars account for 13% of the transport sector. The cost of transport is rising day by day for people who move within the city using taxis private cars or even motorcycles. For individuals like Nakawe, they have resorted to an alternative means of transport, which is cycling, to make this challenge, but also make their lives easier. Joyce Nakato, NTV.